to another edition of Teeny's Tips. Today we're going to be talking about grooming. Grooming is the first part of your work session with your horse and it is vitally important that you groom your horse to enhance his performance. Your grooming tools are very important and I always uh, like to tell people that a horse's uh, skin is as sensitive as our skin. If you ever see a horse twitching at a fly when one lands on it, you know that they can feel uh, everything that touches their skin. When I begin the grooming, I like to use these uh, little flexible curry uh, combs because they contour to the way the hand moves and I use my hand a lot like a massage. Uh, tool. I bend my fingers and I use the ball of my uh, hand to push into the muscle of the horse so that it stimulates uh, the blood flow. The horse always has energy that flows in the direction of his fur and I put about a pound of pressure onto this um, curry as I'm pushing in to his flank and his body. It digs up the dirt and it brings the oils to the surface which makes a shiny coat. Always working from the front of the horse to the back of the horse and bringing the movement all the way down the feet. I begin the brushing part of grooming with the face. And again, I always am conscious of the hair growth and the direction that it goes. The beginning of a horse is here, right at the center of the eye. And I always want to move my brush in the direction of the hair starting at this point. And my movements are always going to be soft and uh, long strokes. And the horse should really love that. And I start where I left off, come through here, always soft, moving the energy. And I actually am putting quite a lot of pressure onto the brush as I'm brushing the horse. With about two or three pounds of pressure on my brush as I'm pushing the energy back, cleaning the horse at the same time, clear to the bottom of the horse and back. When we pick the hooves of the horse, I always make sure that I run my hand down the side of the horse, ask him to pick up his foot, put the uh, hoof pick on the on the outside hand and hold the foot on the inside. He has winter shoes on and rim pads because we live in Vermont, but I always like to make sure that the inside of the hoof is clean. When I go to put the foot back down, the horse must, I never drop the foot from here. I always put the foot back down onto the ground so that it doesn't uh, hit the ground hard. When we put the pad on, I like to put it over the point of the shoulder and pull it back so that it is covering the withers. Put the second pad on also so that the pad is covering up the withers. And then when I put the saddle on, I always make sure it's on slow and so that it sits comfortably on the right spot on the horse. Not too far back and not too far forward. My rule of thumb is that I put the girth so that I can very easily uh, lift it and get, rid of, get, get it undone again so that it's not too tight. And I let the horse walk out into the indoor or wherever I'm gonna ride him. I tightened one more time before I get on the horse and then walk the horse around with me on his back and then tighten it for a third time uh, when I'm ready to do work in earnest. This way the horse doesn't get uh, a cold back sensation and doesn't feel like he's being restricted and anticipate the saddling process. 